Sheldon Nightbowl's update. May 10, 2016. Dritz so. Much is now happening behind the scenes. The Dark's main henchmen are dying. The former arrogance of this group of humanity is quickly fading and being replaced by a feeling that their long rule is truly over. In its place is to be a time of the light and the sudden emergence of their former charges, Gaia's surface humanity. The historians from Agartha's inner depths are now documenting your rise to power with much fanfare. Even your ascended masters are happy about what is currently happening to you. While frustrating to you, these are times when you are finally permitted to cast off the shackles of powerlessness and begin to resume your former lives. These possibilities have brought us to your shores with a mission filled with much hope and great inner joy. It is this heavenly operation that allows the many ascended masters to address you shortly and end a manipulation of facts espoused by both the Anunnaki and their former minions. The immediate time, moreover, is to be the first great harbinger of this new time of light. Be aware of the increasing signs that point to your new time of growing power. Hidden across your globe are monuments that speak of a different past than you now think of as true. The Dark told its minions to hide this evidence and use its numerous abilities to make you believe in another set of gross lies to cover up these essential truths. We have seen how this was so skillfully handled by these well-taught minions. Yet truths remained in the places where the Agarthans had just as skillfully left them many millennia ago. Their existence was hinted at in numerous ancient texts, and in more recent esoteric works that described what these things really were. The Dark used its powers to murder many soothsayers and to coerce many more to remain silent about what they really knew. These hidden truths are shortly to burst forth and aid the Ascended Masters in their own great revelations. The aim of this formerly hidden wisdom is to explain who and what you truly are. This is a time in which the secrets of the past are to become public information for all. When the so-called Golden Ages are looked at seriously, it becomes obvious that a number of currently unknown civilizations were the key to what then occurred. In fact, most students of these ancient times refer to these various elements simply as Civilizations Zero. Much has been uncovered about these ancient sites amazing places where a most remarkable attempt at society first began. A number of your archaeologists see this as being from 8,000 to 15,000 years ago. This puts these sites between the end of the so-called Ice Age and the time of the Biblical Global Flood. We mention all of this to tie it together with the many myths and legends that seem to verify facts about these ancient sites. We fully intend to use these facts to explain connections between your ancestors and ourselves. These sites were an amalgam of energies between the Anunnaki overlords and their latter attempts to forge societies where you were at the mercy of these dark-inspired demigods. Our initial purpose was to observe and record for posterity what actually happened. It was to be an excellent primer for the new Ascended Masters. Much of your history from the time of the destruction of Atlantis and the following period of about a thousand years is mainly unrecorded. Nevertheless, Heaven has retained a Kaushik records. All of this is to be used to give you a special set of histories to better understand your unique relationship with Gaia and the Agarthans. Each of you has soul records that need to be looked over by your mentor and by you. You need to fully know the links between each life and these ancient times. This is why the dialogue between you and your mentor is to take months to complete. Many other factors are to be covered as well. We see these exchanges as a means for you to uncover a number of unresolved energies that are to be disposed of, and to be able to set the stage for the move to your personal crystal light chamber. You can begin to see why these are to be exciting moments for all. Hosanna! We are your ascended masters. We come to you with a very sacred pledge. Together, let us create a world filled with love, light, and especially prosperity. It is often falsely said by humanity that the brightest goals are impossible. On this day, our magnificent associates have released a tremendous amount of funds. Let these funds easily pass through all of the potential barriers, which must surely await them. Let these monies be the harbinger of a great endless age of light. Let them also be the bearer of an epoch that is to bring this great orb a change in how it is to be organized. Let each echo zone and each species be lovingly connected to Gaia and to each one of you. Let this sacred interaction be felt by you at your spiritual core and let this energy be the foundation for a new worldview. 
Take these divine things to heart and be in oneness with each other. Let each beat of this new collective heart sound throughout this section of physical creation. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Be able to give freely to your new world. Learn deeply how these thoughts permeate each aspect of who you truly are. This realm was originally a sacred light of love brought forth by the energies of your founding mother father selves. This mother did so for nearly 850,000 year ons, a spiritual year of the same length. We sit, dear children, at the very foot of these most magnificent times. We are with the magic of heaven to return and massay to the reason we first came to these many wondrous lands. This solar system is a divine test bed for what you are to accomplish with our help. Together, some incredible events are to move in great joy across this reality. You hold in your hands an array of countless abilities. These are at present to be drawn upon and a wondrous promise is at last to be envisioned. This is to bring you in union with your wondrous cousins, the Agarthans. You are a part of humanity that stretches across this galaxy and is found in spots in many other parts of physicality. You are to be spiritually reunited with these energies as you resume the promised guardianship of this solar system. Heaven instructs us as to how to proceed. Use what is now occurring as the starter for making yourselves spiritually and divinely powerful. Bring your wondrous light to this task. Be able to take your gifts and transform this great realm back into what we first together discovered some 900,000 years ago. You are a great people that were thrust on a learning curve of enlightenment and this time of development is now to be transformed into one of divine actions. You, like us, are physical angels of the great and loving Creator. This most sacred mission was put on hold as we jointly transformed. Be in love and light always. Know in your heart how these glorious energies of the soul flow endlessly through you. Be in love, my darlings. Today, you have read many things about who you truly are and where you stand in your massive evolution. Be able to take this new knowingness and apply it to this realm and to yourselves. Much is expected, and much given, in love and in light to you. Let this moment and its gifts be the start of your return to the light. No, dear ones, that the countless supply and never-ending prosperity of heaven are indeed yours. So be it Salamat Gajan. Salamat Jah. Syrian for B1, and be in joy.